Now what we're going to do today is we're going to create a um, three-dimensional lizard out of, out of paper. We're basically turning a two-dimensional shape, two-dimensional uh, piece of paper to a three-dimensional object. First thing you want to do is get your kids to create a nice interesting design on the uh, paper. Uh, you can use any paper that you want, any color paper, construction paper that you want. But um, <clears throat> I use green just because the lizards are known to be green. Um, so have your kids make an interesting design. I use a marker and uh, it doesn't matter how the design is created, just something interesting. It's going to look cool once you do the, uh, create the lizard. First thing you want to do is fold the paper in half like that. Fold the paper in half like that. And then you want to draw a line from this corner to that corner. I'm using the black marker so you guys can see. And then, come down to the other corner. Okay. And then you have a straight line going straight across. Next, get your scissors. One corner. To the other corner. And now you have three pieces. And you have pieces like this. This is what you want to make your lizard out of. And you have your two pieces right here. What you want to make your feet and your tail. Okay. First thing you want to do. Is um, fold your um, body. Into in, inward like an outline. So There's a nice crease line. Right there. Open it up. Draw the other end of it. Got a nice cream line. Like you go to airplane. Like that. We should have one, two, three creases. Close it up in like that. And you should see a nice crease line going straight across. That's what we're going to use to fold it in. Next thing you're going to do is draw the mouth and the slates. Start from this corner in. Start in the corner, come down to the crease line. Go in like that. Okay. Then after you do that, you're going to drop the slanted lines going to slant down to the crease line. Okay. Slant like that. You definitely want to make your line slanted. Try not to make it straight. You can, but it, it has a better effect when you make your line, line slanted. And make sure they come over the crease line. Now you don't want to go too far down to the tail because a lot of kids cut off the tail by mistake. So after you do that, you're going to cut open your mouth. Cut the slates. When you cut it, make sure you cut past the crease line. That you made. The kids are use pencils, so the lines won't really show on their lizards as much as it will with the black line with a black marker. This takes a little patience, but the results are going to be exciting. I know you probably can't hear me, but there you go. Cut out all the slates. Now what you're gonna do is open it up, fold it in, test it out.
that. Turn it over. Close it out. Okay. Edge of it. I like that. It's kind of cool, huh? Alright. Next thing you're going to do is get some glue. Okay, if you draw over the design, it's fine. Put the two things together. We have four feet. Other two feet. And there you go. Now we have four feet. First thing you're gonna do is draw a tone, create a tone, and all you have to do is one tone before you get on this. And we're just going to draw one on one. Like that. And then it out. Now you definitely want to have to give some assistance and a lot of these students uh, probably want to do this with a more advanced group of kids, maybe middle school or high school. I've done it with elementary school. Just remember that they want to need some assistance and they can kind of weigh on you a little bit. But, you know, you use your judgment on that. Now we're going to add our blue. Put on the tip. Flip. Turn up the other one. And put our flip. Two flip on right there. So, right here. Two at the bottom. Two at the top. Tone. 
put some glue on our tongue and voila. Curl that over a little bit. And there's our glue. And there you have it. You can draw eyes, take kids draw eyes on both sides if they like. And there's your list. Just like a slinky. That's it. Thank you.